Did you know that diffuser sticks are the hottest trend in home fragrances right now? And Sophie Uliano is here to show us how to make them from scratch. And I'm so glad that you, you're teaching us how to do it because these things are so expensive in the yeah. stores. Yeah. They yeah. are. They I, was going through, I was in Nordstrom yesterday, uh -huh. and I looked at them, and I thought, they're really pretty, but $60. That's, yeah, it's a lot. But you're going to show mm. us to do it, what, for less than... I am going to show you how to make... Th these cost about $3 a piece. Oh, well, that's really? a big difference. Yes. <laughs> wow, you saved a lot of money. Well, yeah. Okay, uh, so this is a good alternative to air fresheners, you say? It's a wonderful alternative, and the reason is, is because you obviously you don't have to light anything, so there's right. no candles or mm -hmm. electricity required. They last forever, but the most importantly for me is that they're non-toxic, and I'm actually very sensitive to those, uh, to chemicals, right. to artificial chemicals. They make me feel a bit mm. nauseous and lightheaded. Ooh. That's because you're so clean. Probably. Yeah. Yeah, probably. You gotta dirty yourself up <laughs> yeah, a little bit yeah, there, yeah. Sophie. So, uh, Thanks, what so materials much. do we need to make our own diffu diffusers? Diffuser sticks. It's very, very simple. So the first thing is you need your stick. Now, the sticks that you can actually get, the rattan sticks that are used in the pr ones mm -hmm. that you buy, and you can buy those from Amazon. They're relatively inexpensive, the refill sticks. And they're called rattan mm -hmm. sticks? Rattan sticks, okay. yes. Um, or I'm using here bamboo skewers okay. oh. you, that you can get from any grocery store, easy to find. And then you're doing I, exactly the right thing. Yeah. I, I'm using a pair of garden... Um, Shears Go. to clip Stand them off. away from the like shears. Stand trimming away. toenails right. or something. Yes, I, <laughs> I, do. I tried doing that with scissors, but it's better to do it with those. Okay. So, so you're going to, you need about three or four per bottle. You need more marquee than Okay, okay. Yes. So I'll keep you, going. You, you okay. keep going. Sure. Now, the next thing you're going to need is a bottle with a very narrow opening. Okay. And narrow opening, Christina, because uh, the more narrow it is, the less the fragrance For, will evaporate. Right, because right. these do evaporate. They over do. Over time. Yes. Mine lasts about uh, four to six weeks. Yes. And then I need to replenish, to replenish the fragrance. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm using an oil. Now, I'm using here sunflower oil. You can use grapeseed oil. You can use safflower oil. Whatever you have to hand and that's inexpensive. Okay. okay. And I see you have vodka. And I have vodka here, the Juliano vodka, as you can see. <laughs> right, right. And um, we're going to just use a little of that. Why do you need alcohol? Can't you use rubbing alcohol? You could. I prefer to use grain al alcohol like vodka um, because it stops the, it's, it's a fixative for the fragrance. Okay. So and what that means is that it will keep the oil fragrant a lot longer. Okay. Oh, okay. All okay. right. All right. And then finally, the fragrance. Now today I'm going to use peppermint essential oil. Pure essential oil, and um, why and peppermint. Well, why peppermint? Because peppermint is amazing for focus. So if your kids are doing homework, put it in the room that they're doing Sorry, their you focus. Oh, focus! Yes, and absolutely. Focus. And it's great for headaches. It's great for migraines. It's great for nausea. Oh, it's no, and and wonderful. it just for me it makes no, my house smell clean and wonderful. Wow. Right, so I'm going to get going. Christina, it's would lovely. you help me? Yes, I would be delighted. So in, we don't, oh yes, the final there. Could you please add quarter of a cup of, actually straight in there, quarter of a cup of, of our oil, of our sunflower oil. Okay. Then we're going to add one teaspoon. Can I let her loose with this, Mark? Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, okay. I know. she's sort of, yeah. okay. One teaspoon. One okay, teaspoon. one teaspoon. Oh, one teaspoon. Nice. That's a little tisp. So why don't we use the bottle cap for that? That's because a that great looks like idea. We've got one teaspoon. There you go. Okay. So right. And then can... we're going to put in about 30 drops of the essential oil or a teaspoon. I'm just going to put in a teaspoon a... there. Yeah. And then Mark, if you would like to put in a little diffuser sticks. Okay. Actually, that's a few too many. Put in about. Yeah, take two away. <laughs> you slightly overdone it. Okay. There. Okay. Yes. As Marky says, go big or there go home. Yeah. Yeah. And then and then what you also probably want to do is once you've let it soak in for probably about an hour or something, then turn the sticks over. Okay. This was actually a Christina tip, which is well, quite genius. Well, Mark talked about it this morning. Yeah, yeah. I, I, for the longest time, and, I, and the, none of the guys here got it, we didn't understand what this thing was. Yes. I had no idea. You didn't well, understand what the sticks were? I had no idea. No, you didn't I, know that's how the fragrance came up? And well, I put them in there, but it wouldn't, I never got the smell until I flipped them over, and then I was like, oh, there's the aroma. Well, it, Mark, the, the aroma, actually, the oil travels up the little sort right. of um, my yeah, house channels. In, in well, I, I got you one at, at Nordstrom's, 
I yeah. got you one uh, for your, your trailer. <laughs> I did. And I got you I one got for my trailer. I got a lot on eBay people. with that. No, I sold I it know. and got it. No, but when oh. people come into your trailer, they say. They're bold over by the beautiful smell. Smell that. They, yes. Can you can you use other fragrances? And yes, you this can use. Lovely. I wanted to say Very energetic. You, if you don't want to use essential oils, you and you can choose any oil that you love the smell of. Lo but lavender. You, lavender, exactly. Amber. Amber. Jasmine. I love that. But you can actually use a fragrance, a typical, a, a regular fragrance. Now these ones are from Nature's Garden that I use a lot in my craft uh, mm -hmm. DIYs. Where and do I you get this. This is from Nature's Garden. Okay, you get it's not at Whole Foods. You can no, get Nature's no, you, Garden. No, no, Okay, you have to go online. And you have to okay. go online. And why I love these specifically is because they're phthalate free. So it's a synthetic Th phthalate. Phthalate. What is that? And it, phthalate is, is basically a group of chemicals which, in in my estimation, is just not so good for the health. So with fragrances, I always like to go phthalate free. Ooh, and this is nice. Good. So that's nice, a nice and strong fragrance. So so easy to make your own, and you can decorate your little bottles. And I've put some little stones in the bottle. This bottle. one is nice. called Quebella, which is que how beautiful.